Morning shipmates, welcome back to the boatyard. So today, I think, um, I think I know a direction to actually proceed. I've been a little confused lately as to exactly how to proceed because, um, well, just never done this before. Um, it looks like the deck of the boat, or like the little parts of, well, the little, the the space that's going to stand between the the on the shear and the gunnel that's actually going to go from here to the house or the side of the cabin that's the deck and the deck uh, from what I've been reading is laminated one by four pine four of them um, that go uh, you know longitudinally or I'm sorry laterally from the um, from the hull, the the side of the hull, and the ch and the shear clamp, over into the um, the actual house or the cabin. So those are going to be laminated, and they run fore and aft. So obviously we're talking about scarfing and and all that other stuff that we've done previous to make the keel, the shear, and the chine logs. So nothing new there. But what is new is that we are now tying in basically the top of the boat together so what I'm going to need to do is actually come over and cut basically cut these down my, my frames down to where they will accept the uh, two inch uh, lam uh, two inch wide or tall or however you want to look at it um, laminated deck uh, deck beams that are going to run the entire length of the boat um, so that's kind of, you know, looking ahead and that, that's kind of on the horizon once again right after I get done putting all the epoxy and fillets inside the boat and uh, really sturdying her up. Good news is I have epoxy now on order. So i um, got two gallons of it. It should be arriving, oh, I don't know, whenever the hell it gets here. But that's kind of where we're going. So the, the deck obviously is going to run all the way back to the fuel lockers as you can see and then it, of course the deck will once again with those four wide laminated pieces of white pine run all the way up to the bow now I don't know about you but I know when it gets when, it, when we start getting up to the bow see how that comes to a nice point up there like it should that means a lot of those boards um, it, it, it's just going to be kind of odd to, to saw them in place and and to make sure that they fit snugly up there all together while still maintaining um, you know while still maintaining that that nice that nice shape so what I'm gonna do and it can be done don't get me wrong I mean I'm, I'm sure it can be done that way but that's not what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do I'm going to build what's called a breast hook a breast hook is basically a piece of, of lumber that's going to be triangular in design and it's designed to sit up here at the bow and provide oh I don't know um, you know a nice flat surface or more of a flat surface without that n that sharp angle for the deck to get into and it also provides strength of the bow because now you've got a nice big piece of, of, of wood up here that's going to tie both the shears in and make this really strong I mean the the down there is extremely strong with all the reinforcement and epoxy that is that is at the bottom of the of the bow uh, along the stem but that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to get dimensions and I'm gonna build a breast hook today and much like I did with the knee I'm going to laminate it using that old thick epoxy because once again for laminating purposes I, I think it's just fine um, and then, of course, when I put it in place, we will, of course, have the the actual um, the actual regular thin resin epoxy. So there's obviously stuff I need to do. Like if, I don't know if you can see, and I'm, I'm fairly certain you can. There's a there's a screw right there, and one, uh, uh, you know a, a little one right here that's sticking out that needs to be removed. We need to cut those off. So I'm going to bust my Dremel out and take care of that. So also too, I don't know how wide or long I'm going to make this breast hook 
I'm kind of envisioning, and this is once again just how I kind of see it happening, is I'm going to tie in the, I'm going to basically make it long enough to where it actually would go from the, the, the back of the stem up there to frame A, which is right here, and it looks like absolute hell. I know this was the first frame I built, and I had no idea what I was doing. But, you know, I, I kind of beat her into place, and she looks, you know, so she doesn't look great, but she's doing the job that she was designed to do. But that's the idea. I think I'm going to go ahead and tie this entire part in with a breast hook. Uh, once again, the idea comes from uh, Louis Suzette, the uh, Master Shipwright. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel yet on tips from a Master Shipwright, I would highly recommend it if you're thinking about taking on a project like this or, or, or similar projects like this in the future. Uh, his uh, his counsel is, is basically, you, you just got to have it. You know, it's 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 quite necessary. So that's kind of where we stand, shipmates. That's where we're at. Um, but there is now a direction to head in. Also, uh, just letting you guys, updating you guys. I'm starting. A, well, I've started an Instagram page, uh, so you can check that out at Sudsy Boat Builder on Instagram, or you can see me on Facebook uh, whenever Facebook gets around to approving me. But uh, so there will be more than one venue to follow the boat and get updates um, if you're so inclined. And of course, to catch me either fixing my mistakes or making more, um, because that's always a possibility. So that's where we're at. Um, that's where we stand. And I will do a little bit more calculating and thinking and uh, consulting with the plans. But I really think that the front of the bow is going to get a breast hook. I really don't see another way around it, and I think that's just the best option. So, that's uh, that. There you have it. All righty. Well, I'm gonna get off of here and get to work. Uh, but I will fire my Instagram up. So, if you want, you can watch. Well, uh, as promised, I went ahead and prepped somewhat of the, uh, or a little bit of the, uh, the bow area to include frame A here, um, cut the screws off to, in order to prep for the breast hook. So, um, I don't have my torpedo level out here because my wife's using it on the pool right now to level the area for the pool, um, so, but that, that's a whole other ball of wax. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm just kind of roughing it in. So I cut I cut with my Sonic Crafter, which is down here. I use that to cut off the uh, the excess on this part of the frame, this area right here. Cut that off, and then I use my planer, my little box plane, or uh, um, my yeah, my little box plane to plane down the uh, the the high spots to where it's roughly level, and and then there was a little area over here that was a little um, high so I went ahead and took my mallet and chisel and, and, and got that kind of knocked off. Um, so it's not quite ready to receive the breast hook but that's okay because we're not quite ready to install it so we're we're fine we're roughed in which is okay I'll, I'll do the fine tuning once the breast hook uh, is actually complete and um, I can actually begin uh, kind of dry fitting it knowing what I need to and need not to uh, do to get it to fit. And then, of course, hopefully my lovely wife will give me my torpedo level back. So that's, that's it for, for this, I mean, at least for the roughing in part of it. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm actually going to go over and get some stuff for the breast hook uh, squared away. So I'm going to go over there and uh, start just kind of doing some thinking on what I'm going to use to actually create the breast hook. So that's, uh, that's where we stand, guys, and I will, uh, I'll catch you guys up a little bit later once I know um, exactly how I'm going to build it out of what material. And uh, I have a pretty good idea, but um, I, need to, I just need to do some more thinking. So I will get back to you. Well, everyone, that's her. That is the laminated breast hook. So um, obviously it's out of my marine plywood. And I actually have it to where it'll, I've notched it to where it should take, the, the top part here should sit right over top of frame A. And this, the bottom part, will butt right up against 
will butt right up against it. I might need to cut it and fit it around the frame A plates, but I'm not too terribly worried about that. I think that it'll it'll be uh, I think it'll be just fine. So that's what we have. That's what is currently um, the case for our new breast hook. And of course, you know, with the epoxy oozing out, I'm sure we will have to do a little bit of sanding and fairing and all that before we uh, before she fits right. But that's her. It's going to be my breast hook. Uh, I'm also going to need to cut out a, a space right here for the Samson post to come out. Uh, because the Samson post is actually secured to frame A all the way to the keel. So, not a big deal. Um, that's still pretty easy to do. I won't permanently affix it, like I said, until I've done all that little stuff. So, anyways, that's that's what was on the docket today and I can say with that drying that'll uh, that'll conclude it I'm uh, pretty pleased with how everything's coming together and like I said epoxy should be here oh I don't know in about a week or so and then I can continue on the inside of the boat so until then um, I will see you guys then